As I lay in bed, I heard soft whispers. When I looked beside me, I saw my own lifeless body, still whispering my name. The mirror reflected an image of me, but its smile was sinister. I blinked, and the reflection stayed smiling back at me. I received a video call from my mom, who died five years ago. Her desperate voice pleaded, Don't trust Dad. He killed us. I finally escaped the dark basement, but when I turned around to lock the door, I found a handwritten note. You were never alone. After the car crash, I woke up in the hospital to a nurse saying, Congratulations, you're the sole survivor. I noticed her reflection was transparent. A man on the subway handed me a note that said, Help me, he's watching. When I looked up, the man was standing across the platform, waving. My daughter's imaginary friend was a comforting presence until one night, I found him staring at me from the foot of my bed, smiling. I tried to take a picture of my reflection in the bathroom mirror, but the camera showed an empty, blood-splattered room instead. I woke up paralyzed, surrounded by darkness, only able to see a pair of glowing eyes inching closer to me. At 3 a.m., my daughter giggled from her bedroom. When I entered, she was sleeping, but the closet door creaked open on its own. I found a hidden trap door in my attic and decided to explore it. At the bottom, I discovered a picture of me taken just moments ago. The fortune teller said I would die tonight. I laughed, but the clock's hands started ticking backward and the room turned icy cold. I woke up to my own voice singing a lullaby. As I listened in horror, my bedroom door slowly closed on its own. The old lady next door always waved to me, but one day she waved with her severed hand, her face contorted in pain. In the haunted house I found an old diary. The last entry was from the day before, describing my arrival and welcoming me inside. My dog kept growling at the basement door. When I opened it, he bolted inside, and a familiar voice whispered, I'm so glad you're here. I woke up in a hospital, my body covered in scars. The nurse told me I'd been in a coma for years, but I remember everything. The new tenant moved into the apartment above mine, but when I looked up to greet them, I saw my own face staring back through the window. While babysitting, I heard my little sister's voice calling for me from upstairs, but she was sleeping next to me on the couch. The radio kept playing the same song on repeat, and with each loop the lyrics became more personal, revealing my deepest secrets. I woke up to find myself inside a coffin buried six feet underground, and a voice whispered, Welcome to your eternal nightmare. Each night, I heard footsteps outside my bedroom. One night, I mustered the courage to open the door, only to find identical footprints leading back to my bed. I saw my husband's doppelganger at the foot of our bed, grinning maliciously. When I turned to wake him up, he was already asleep beside me. As I brushed my hair in the mirror, my reflection mouthed, Help me, I'm trapped in here. I turned around to see an empty room behind me. The old man at the park handed me a picture of myself as a child, saying, Remember this place. But the photo was taken yesterday. My family moved into a new house, and I found a hidden room in the basement. Inside, there was a life-size doll that looked exactly like me. I started sleepwalking and each morning I woke up with dirt-stained feet. One night, I followed my footprints and found a freshly dug grave. My daughter said her imaginary friend hated my cooking. I laughed it off until the night she whispered, He's not imaginary. The man on the bus kept staring at me, so I changed seats. He followed and whispered, You can't escape me. I'm inside you. The fortune teller warned me not to answer the phone tonight. When it rang, I picked up and a voice said, I see you didn't listen. A painting in the museum depicted my family standing in front of our house, but the artist had captured us being brutally murdered. I received a package with a video of myself sleeping. The footage ended with a note saying, I'll be watching you dream tonight. At the Halloween party, someone was wearing the same costume as me. When I confronted them, they had no face under the mask. My reflection started moving independently, making gestures I wasn't making. 
Then it reached out and pulled me into the mirror. The radio broadcasted a live news report about my disappearance, but I was listening to it from my living room. I awoke to a voice whispering the name of each person I loved, followed by a sinister giggle. The voice belonged to my comatose sister. My friend warned me never to look directly at the full moon. Curiosity got the better of me, and I saw thousands of eyes staring back.